Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Pack. And in today's episode, we are going to be doing some work here. Uh, between the last episode and this one, we had our 100k live stream day. So there's been some progress made that you guys may have not seen if you weren't able to make the live stream. That is also new. That looks gorgeous. I wonder if that's a scar build. I'm sh maybe spoilers. Sorry. Uh, also, Jassassin has been working on his place too, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, but anyway, so what I want to do in today's episode, first of all, I kind of want to go over what we did in the live stream just very briefly. Um, I do have a little bit better Tinker's Tools, Cobalt stuff. Uh, this broadsword, uh, this wasn't actually done in the live stream, but, or, or maybe it was, I don't know. This thing's a beast. Necrotic 5 means that 50% of the damage it does gets returned to me as health. It's uh, Manulin Blade, it has mending on it, so it repairs itself. It's just a beast of a sword, um, <laughs> and it gets some major work done. Uh, we also got into actually additions a little bit, which is one of the things that we're going to be playing around with in a little bit. Um, but essentially, I built... Uh, we also made a metallurgic infuser from mechanism for making a few things. Uh, we've got this double crusher, which is basically like the sag mill that we had before, but it can do two things at a time. So I've got all of my ores going here. I'm using mechanism uh, logistical transporters, basically item pipes, uh, to move stuff throughout this system. And then over here I've got this lovely battery, uh, which powers this atomic reconstructor. This, I think, needs to be moved... And let's just throw it in here so this thing can charge up because we are going to need it in just a minute here. Uh, I also built, by popular request, or made, I suppose, slime boots and the slime sling. And I also made this magical boomerang that Iskal uh, advocates for because it seemed pretty cool and it's a ranged weapon that doesn't actually take ammo or durability. But if we put these boots on and we grab this super awesome slime sling, you can essentially launch yourself way up into the air, and then bounce around with the slime boots so you don't take damage, which is pretty cool. Um, but I did make a bunch of solar panels. So this is our primary power source now. This was made during the live stream. Speaking of the live stream, I think over the weekend, I'm going to try and download those videos and just split them up into roughly one hour um, little chunks and re-upload them to YouTube, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I've never actually re-uploaded a live stream to YouTube, although I do archive all my live streams on my Twitch channel itself, so you can always watch it over there. But I think, given that it was the 100k live stream day, and it's a special event, and it was kind of my 100k special, um, I think I'm going to try and download them, and then re-upload them to YouTube, and release them over the course of the next week. Uh, of next week. That's that's kind of the plan. I don't know. If it doesn't work out, you'll have to forgive me, but I'm going to give it a try and see uh, see if we can get it to work. Um, so, we got solar power, we got our slime boots, uh, and what I want to work on in today's episode is I really, really could use a magnet. Uh, basically, a item that will pull other stuff towards me automatically, so I pick it up. So, like, if I chop down a tree... The, the logs all just kind of fly into my inventory. If I'm mining, uh, all the stuff flies towards me. It's pretty cool, very useful. And there are a few options in this pack. We've got the Ring of Magnetizing from Actually Editions. We have the Ring of Magnetization from Botania. And we've got the Electromagnet from Ender.io. I have done the Electromagnet from Ender.io many times. It works wonderfully. Um, it's not super difficult to make. Uh, I do need an Ender Pearl, but I'm pretty sure I got one somewhere. The Ring of Magnetization is also relatively early game for Botania, but I've done that a many, many, many times as well in other series. And I think I want to try out this Ring of Magnetizing from Actually Editions and see what we think of that one, uh, because that is one that I have never done before. So I figured it would be, uh, you know, a good kind of a good chance for us to give it a try and see what we think. So to make this thing, I need a ring. I need some Lapis, I need some Restonia Crystal, and I need some Inori Crystal. Um, a lot of that I've got. I've got gold. 
for the ring. I do have iron for the ring, and I do have glowstone. I think I just need the one piece of glowstone. Let's go... Boop, there we go. We got ourselves the ring. And then we need this other stuff. I think I have some Restonia crystal left over, uh, which is basically made by just putting redstone in front of this thingy right here. Uh, Inori crystal, on the other hand, is made using iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, let's do three. Let's do three iron blocks. It seems like this thing, uh, this atomic reconstructor, will create three blocks at a time. It seems like that's kind of the limit. So this is hooked up on a pulse redstone mode, which means when I hit the button, it fires. If I don't hit the button, it doesn't fire. So we hit this, and it goes boop, and there we go. Now we have Inori crystal blocks, and we can make those into these Inori crystals, which is super awesome. And then grab the lapis, and now we should be able to finish off our, rag, uh, our ring of magnetizing. However, it needs power. Um, so we're going to have to throw it into this basic capacitor bank and get that thing going. Oh, by the way, I don't know that you've actually seen the machines and the things moved into this basement yet. Um, this was mostly done during the live stream, too. Uh, the modular storage I moved over from my other house. And... Uh, I mean, everything here I think you've pretty much seen before as far as, like, the actual stuff itself. But, yeah, this is, this is my basement, in case you haven't. This capacitor bank is new. This was done during the live stream, uh, basically to power, to grab the power from the solar generators and store it here. I do want to upgrade this to a larger capacity bank. This, uh, uh, a larger capacitor bank. This thing basically acts like a battery. Um, and I could use a much larger one. But we've got ourselves the Ring of Magnetizing doing its thing down here. Now, between episodes, I also spent a significant amount of time in the Nether so I could get this thing up to Necrotic 5, because the way you do that is basically putting Necrotic Bones on it, and Necrotic Bones drop from Wither Skeletons. As a result of that, I've got a couple Wither Skeleton Skulls, just a, just a few. I've got six, and I figured we should try those things out because there are some very useful things you can make using nether stars. If we look, there's plenty of recipes, lots of stuff from environmental tech. This is the one I'm particularly interested in, the unbreakable builder's wand. This thing is basically a builder's wand that will let me place lots of blocks all at once and will be super, super useful. Uh, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, let's actually let this thing finish off. We'll let it finish charging. It takes 3 million RF, but then hopefully I won't have to charge it again for quite a while. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, I do have diamond armor with pretty meh enchantments on it. Uh, and I do have the one probe. You can see up in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, there's like a thingy that's very similar to Wayla, if you're familiar with that. Uh, these, I don't know why they're in here. You go in there, you go in there. There we go. Are you done? Close enough. Now, can I put this in here? No. Does it work just being in my inventory? It appears to. Okay, so it works just being in my inventory. It doesn't actually have to be in my hotbar or in my hand, so that's good. But I want to go and fight myself some withers. Two of them, to be specific. We're going to give this a try. I think... Probably best off doing it down in the mines. Let's just see here. Um, do, 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 do. Nether portal's down here, if you haven't seen that yet. I'm tr it, it's hard to remember what all I did, because it's been about a week since I actually recorded a video on here. So I don't remember exactly what I did, but either way, it's okay. Um, I think this should work for a, a wither... Killing room. Oh, hello, clay. That stuff is very breakable, which is not a good thing when you're trying to prepare a wither room. So let's go a little bit farther. And that should be good, although I hate to lose all of this black quartz because it's not super, super common. It's not amazingly rare either, but it's not... It's... 
it's uncommon enough that I don't want to just, like, leave it alone. So let's say this will be our wither killing room right here. We'll just clear out a little space and put this stuff back. There we go. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. And one. And two. And three. And... Screenshot? Oop, I'm going the wrong way. I want to get one good screenshot of this thing. Hi, Wither. Screenshot. Cool. All right, let's try out this amazingly overpowered sword and see. I'm not even gonna, I'm not using any healing potions. I'm just hitting him with my sword. And I'm pretty sure I'm not even taking damage right now. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so the sword's a little bit OP. <laughs> wow. Ooh, my armor took a pretty significant beating, though. Hmm. Maybe next time we'll do it without half of this armor. I think that could be fun. Just to see if it works. Although, the downside is, if I die, then, um then I'm kind of in a little bit of trouble because then there's a loose wither and yeah, it, that would not be good. Um, but we'll give it a try anyway. We'll see what happens. This might be an absolutely horrible plan, but let's see. There we go. Huh? Why, why, you know, why, you know, do the thing. Did one of these get placed in the wrong spot? Nope. Um. Why you no? Why you no make wither? That makes no sense at all. I'm very confused. Uh, let's just try it here instead. Maybe it was just some sort of a weird thing. I I don't know. That's a little bizarre. I can't say that I've ever seen it fail to make a wither before. There. There. Okay. Now we have a wither. Hi, wither. Screenshot. Awesome. All right, let's take off our chest plate. And that was a terrible decision. <laughs> that was... Uh-oh. <laughs> this is... Um... Um... <laughs> yeah, this could be bad. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves new diamond armor. And hopefully this time, hopefully we'll be able to get to our stuff before it, like, kills us uh, or destroys my armor. Uh, let's grab a pick, put this away, diamonds in here, and it's probably chunk-loaded right now, too, which is not good. Um, I need a weapon of some sort. Six, uh, I really don't have anything that works as a good weapon. This is not good. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, I need some food. All right. Oh, actually, do I have any potions at all? I have a splash potion of regeneration. Better than nothing. Okay. Let's go. We'll give it a try. Hopefully, I'll be able to get all my stuff back. Because um, if not, I might cry. Okay. <laughs> that was... <laughs> just took off the armor and instantly got wrecked that's amazing okay let's see here no fooling around this time we need to make sure that we didn't just let a wither loose on the server which we very well may have and that would be very not good all right here's me ow 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 run back Put on my stuff. Um, grab my super sword. Whew. I'm taking some damage. We're going to use our splash potion of regeneration. And let's go deal with this guy. Oh, look at our look at our health. You can I know you guys can't really see it right now, but it's like completely full again. Hitting this guy on the other hand is a little bit of a problem. I might be able to, like, lure him down here. 
I'm hoping he needs he needs to come down so I can actually hit him. There we go. There. Get him. Oh, I missed. Ow. Ow. Alright. There we go. We got him. Whew. Okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Wither no longer loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was that was such a fail. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's eat a little bit of food so I can regen some health. Um, that could have that could have been worse. It's all good. Whew. Uh, let let me get my stuff all reorganized here. Make sure I have everything. Okay, that's all good. I've got food over here. We've got two wither stars we can use. Or nether stars or whatever. Let's see. Looks like the ring... Does seem to work, so that's good. This is our extra stuff chest. So we're going to put all of this in here, because that's all just going to get stored away once I return back. Seems like, I'm curious to see what the range on these this magnet is. Let's see, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like it's about eight blocks, and you may have to be on the same elevation level. Maybe not. Okay. It's actually, I mean, it works. The ring, the ring gets the job done. So, not too bad. Now, there's a few pretty cool things that you can make using these nether stars. Uh, I do need to find my way out of here, however. Oh, that's not it. Where is my tunnel? Ah, right here. And let's go ahead and get rid of that, because we don't need it anymore. I like to keep my waypoints all nice and cleared up and organized, otherwise it gets a little ridiculous when you're trying to dig through Tons and tons and tons of waypoints to find the one that you're actually looking for. Not good. But this will make my resource gathering life much easier. It'll also make everything easier for us for building and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to head back to my house and I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back. So let's go ahead and try out this uh, unbreakable builder's wand. It was two sticks and then the nether star. So you got this unbreakable wand. Let's just grab... Let's just grab a couple stacks of cobble, just so we can kind of test this thing out and see what kind of, like, uh, you know, what kind of capabilities, I guess you would say, that this wand has. So a standard builder's wand from Extra Utilities, which was the mod that originally kind of did the builder's wand, would do nine things. And it looks like this one does that. Does it do more than nine? Yes, it does. And it does tops. It does all sides. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be something a lot more equivalent to, like, the Super Builder's Wand, which lays down ridiculous amounts of blocks very quickly and will do all sorts of wonderful things for us. So this is good. This is very good. Um, also, chisels and bits. A lot of you have said use chisels and bits. I am fully aware of chisels and bits. I fully intend to get into chisels and bits. Um, I just was reminded of this because I have this colored block crafter, which is for a mod that is really kind of meant to go hand in hand with chiseled and bits called, I believe it's called like flat colored blocks or something like that. Yeah, flat colored blocks. Basically gives you a bunch of really useful things for chisels and bits, like just colored textures that you can chisel and bit into things. Um, but yeah, so that is something I will be getting into in the future. Um, unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this episode. I'm on a very, very tight schedule tonight. Uh, it's already pretty late, and I needed to get this episode out to you. So we did fight a couple withers. Uh, <laughs> we did play around a little bit with actually editions, and we kind of went over the live stream. 
But uh, that's all I got for this one, guys. I will be back on Sunday, I believe, with another Hermit Pack. So, uh, and that one will have a little bit more stuff to it. But for now, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.